Hello everyone, I am your science teacher Himrita Chandulia. Today we will continue chapter 2nd of class 7th, Nutrition in Animals. I hope everybody had revised the chapter. So, let us continue with the exercise section of this chapter. Okay? Come on on the first question of this chapter, question 1 is fill in the blank and these are your favorite one. Okay. The main steps of nutrition in humans are, you know very well, what are they? First step is known as ingestion and ingestion means taking food and after ingestion, digestion and digestion of food takes place in human wear in stomach and small intestine, okay. After digestion, which process will come? Yes, it is absorption, fine. After absorption, assimilation process is there and assimilation means what? Assimilation means absorption, utilization of absorbed food and last is ejation. Ejation means kya hai? removal of undigested food from the body. Come on the next fill in the blank. Largest gland in human body. Yes, it is very easy. It is liver. Very good. Next, the stomach releases hydrochloric acid digestive juice which act on food. We know inner lining of stomach secrete three things digestive juices, mucus and hydrochloric acid. So, we have to fill digestive juices. Come on on the next one. The inner wall of small intestine has many finger like outgrowths and we know they are known as villi or single hoti hai to villus. Is it clear? Next one is amoeba digest its food in the kaha hota hai? No specific organ is there, only the single part is there. What we called it? It is food vacuole. Okay? Is it clear to everyone? Come on the next question. Our next question is mark T if the statement is true, F if the statement is true false. First, digestion of starch starts in the stomach. Is it true? No, it is wrong. Digestion of starch takes place at buccal cavity. So, we have to write false. Okay. The next one is the tongue helps in mixing food with saliva. Yes, ye to main function hai tongue ka. So, it is True. The next one is the gallbladder temporarily stores bile. Yes, it bile juice is secreted by liver and stored in gallbladder. So it is true. The next question is the ruminants bring back solid grass into their mouth and chew it for some time. Yes, it is true. Come on on the next one. What is next? Tick. Mark the correct answer in each of the following. Let us read the question. Fat is completely digested in the stomach, mouth, small intestine or large intestine. It is digested in small intestine, is not it? Chale, on the next question. Water from the undigested food is absorbed mainly in. Dekhi, sara food ka absorption ho gaya small intestine mein. But water ka absorption kaha hota hai? Is it done in stomach, food pipe, small intestine or large intestine? Large intestine is correct answer. Let us continue with the next question. Match the items of column first with 
the given in column second. In column first, food components are there. In column second, products of digestion means food component ke digestion ke baad jo simpler substances mein wo convert huye hain, hume unse match karna hai. Okay? Carbohydrate ki digestion ke baad kya binta hai? Simple sugars. So, we have to match carbohydrate with sugar. After that proteins and we know proteins break into amino acids. Last one is fats and fats break into fatty acids and glycerols. Is it clear students? Let us come on to the next question. Next question is what are villi? What is their location and function? Okay. So, there are three questions. What are villi? Their location and function. So, we have to co cover all these three points. Villi are finger like outgrowths. Up kaha hai? We know they are on the inner wall of small intestine. And what is its function? The villi increase the surface area for absorption of digested food. Is it clear? Let us proceed with the next question and our next question is where is the bile produced? Which component of the food does it helps to digest? Very good. It is very good question. Bile is produced by liver and where it is stored? It is stored in gall bladder and the main function of bile juice is what? It helps in the digestion of fats. Okay, students, come on on the next question. Name the types of carbohydrate that can be digested by ruminants, not by humans. Yes, it is very good. It is literally very good question and you have to know what is the reason why human uh, can't digest cellulose. Let us proceed. Cellulose can be digested by ruminants, not by humans. This is because in the rumen of ruminants and students we know rumen is a part of stomach in ruminants. Okay? Special enzymes are secreted for the digestion of cellulose. Is it clear? Which are absent in humans. So, students in human digestive system, in human stomach, these bacteria which secrete such enzymes are absent. Why? Because we do not have rumen, we do not have cecum, we have a simple uh, stomach. Okay. So, such type of bacteria are not present in human stomach that is why the digestion of cellulose is not possible. Okay. Let us proceed with the next question. Next question is why do we get instant energy from glucose? Again a very interesting question. Glucose is the simplest form of sugar. Abhi humne match the following me kiya. Okay, after the digestion of carbohydrate, carbohydrate converts into simple sugars. All the carbohydrates have to broken down in the form of glucose for to provide energy. Since glucose does not require breaking down, so it gives you instant energy. Glucose ko aage break honi ki zorurat nahi hai. Isi liye glucose aapki body ko instant energy deti hai. Summers mein jab bohut zyada garmi hoti hai, aap log kya karte hai? Glucondi dissolve karte hai? Peene ke liye fata fata se. And after that you feel energetic. Isn't it? Come on on the next question students. Next question is which part of the digestive canal is involved? Here functions are there. You have to write down the parts of digestive canal. First one is absorption of food. Where absorption of food takes place? Answer is what? Small intestine. Everybody knows. 
नेक्स्ट वन इज चुइंग ऑफ फूड कहाँ होता है हम खाना कहाँ चुई करते हैं येस इट्स बकल कैविटी फाइन वेयर सलाइवा मिक्स विथ फूड Killing of bacteria, yes, it is in stomach. Next one is complete digestion of food. कहाँ होता है Again, answer is small intestine. Next one is formation of feces. कहाँ होता है formation of feces? most of the food absorbed in small intestine after that that undigested food is passes to large intestine so answer is large intestine i hope it is clear to everybody come on on the next question students next question is which one similarity and one difference between the nutrition in amoeba and human being human being or amoeba ki nutrition mein similarity and dissimilarity batani hai what is similarity beta both amoeba and human beings both are heterotrophs and what are heterotrophs heterotrophs means they derive nutrition from other organisms so this is the similarity let's talk about this similarity differences kya hain human beings have a complex digestive system okay and different nutrients are digested in separate regions yes i told you in human digestive system but amoeba does not have a digestive system Yes, ये हमने पढ़ा था nutrition process in amoeba में okay? And all the nutrients are digested in the food vacuole. Here amoeba don't have any specific digestion system. तो food का ingestion, absorption, assimilation and ejection all done through food vacuole. So students. Let's proceed on the next question. Our next question is match the items of column one with suitable items of column second. Okay, these are the interesting ones. You have to match and confusing also. So again, I'm repeating myself. You have to write down correct answer in front of that question in your science notebook. Is it clear? first one is salivary gland what salivary gland do it secretes saliva so the answer is saliva secretion is it clear the next one is stomach read all the options carefully stomach related bile juice secretion no storage of undigested food no acid release yes stomach releases acid fine come on on the next liver and we know liver secrete bile juice so we can match it with it bile juice secretion next one is rectum and everybody knows rectum is the ending part of large intestine okay so ab match kaun sa ho raha hai digestion is completed absorption of water release of feces batai what happen at rectum beta rectum store the undigested food so we have to match it with storage of undigested food next one is small intestine and we know small intestine ke andar complete digestion hota hai we have to match it with digestion is completed next one is large intestine large intestine absorption of water and the seventh point is remaining here so we have to left it here as it is but if you know the answer you can write it release of feces kahan se release hota hai yes answer is 
anus. Fine? Ok students, let us proceed on the next question. It is labeling of the diagram and this is human digestive system. Sabse pehle to aapko yehi likhna hoga. What is it? It is human digestive system. Always write this thing. Fine? Chaliye, start karte hain. This tube like structure, what we call it? It is known as esophagus. After that, this brown color gland is there and we know what is the name of this gland? It is liver. Below just here, you are observing flattened J shaped structure which is known as stomach. Below stomach, a leaf like structure is present which is known as pancreas, but it is not clearly visible in that diagram. So, we have to mention other parts of the elementary canal. The outer one whose diameter is broad, this is known as large intestine. Okay, or large intestine length may choti hoti hai, isn't it? And the inner one which is more coiled, okay, this is known as small intestine. Or small intestine ka length, large intestine se zada hota hai. Large intestine ending into rectum. And rectum opens into anus and through anus undigested food is expelled out of the body. So, I hope this diagram is clear to everybody. Let us proceed on the next question. What is our next question? Can we survive only on raw leafy vegetable grass discus? It is question for us human being. Here we are human being. So, students no, we cannot hum leaf grass or leafy vegetables pe survive nahi kar sakte hain. And you all know why. Because all the leaf, all grasses are having cellulose, a complex carbohydrate, which is not digested in human digestive system. Isn't clear? So, we can say that we no, we cannot survive only on raw leafy vegetables, grass. This is because grass is rich in cellulose, which is not possible for us to digest. Because in our stomach, in our digestive system, no bacteria are present for the digestion of cellulose. So, students, in this way, this chapter completes here. And I hope you all understand the concept and all the exercise of this chapter. So, learn and revise it and do your work in your science notebook. Thank you.